Hi, it's Patrick Hatzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com where we instantly improve the lives of families of critically ill patients in intensive care so that you can have peace of mind, real power, real control and so that you can influence decision making fast even if you're not a doctor or a nurse in intensive care. This is another episode of Your Questions Answered and in last week's episode I answered another question from one of our readers and the question last week was part one of my partner is in intensive care on a ventilator. The intensive care team wants to do a tracheostomy and I want to have him extubated first. What do I do? You can check out the answer to last week's question by clicking on the link below this video. In this week's episode of Your Questions Answered, I want to answer part two from Heather whose partner remains in intensive care on the ventilator. So today I answer part two of my partner is in intensive care on a ventilator. The intensive care team wants to do a tracheostomy and I want to have him extubated. What do I do? So Heather from the United States writes, Hi Patrick, thank you so much for your help. I wanted a little bit more advice. My partner only had one failed extubation and the MPAMA had not been diagnosed and treated and the antibiotics for the pneumonia had been stopped. He also had surgery for the MPAMA which the surgeon has signed off his case and the pneumonia is getting better and he coughs good and all. I also told the doctor yesterday that I would like them to trial extubate him. They did a spontaneous breathing trial. I was with him and he passed the trial. Normally it's 30 minutes. He was breathing for two and a half hours and his blood pressure stayed good the whole time and they did, did give him some midazolam while doing the breathing trial and he did well. However, they still wouldn't extubate. He did a trial today before I got into hospital and he was on the breathing trial for 20 minutes and his blood pressure got really high. They have significantly cut his pain medications and sedation today. His blood pressure is okay but he's trying to work that tube out of his mouth. I feel like no matter how well he's doing it's not good enough and it's almost like they're trying to break his spirit. I hope to get some more insights from you. Thank you so much, Heather. Hi Heather, just by what you are describing they need to extubate him. The reason his blood pressure is up is because he's agitated. They need to take his breathing tube out. If he's passing all the trials there is absolutely no reason why he can't have the tube out. Why are they so adamant and not extubate? They need to give you a specific reason which they haven't given you. The longer this goes on, the higher the chances that he'll have the tracheostomy. You need to be very clear and start to manage the intensive care team. Demand what you know is right for your partner and nothing less. Stop buying into the intensive care team's perceived power and their perceived authority. Do they want to earn some money by putting in a tracheostomy? Do they want to keep him in ICU to occupy an expensive bed long term? You need to get comfortable with challenging the intensive care team and even if he fails the extubation, which it sounds like he won't, they can then still do the tracheostomy as a next step. Also keep in mind that they may want to enroll your partner in a medical research study or he's already in a medical research study and they wouldn't tell you. It sounds to me like there are things happening behind the scenes that may lead them to decide against extubation and they won't share with you their hidden agenda. Check out this article here and the video as well. How medical research dominates your critically ill loved one's diagnosis and prognosis as well as the care and the treatment your loved one is receiving or not receiving. Let me know if you get stuck Heather and I can guide you further. All the best. So how can you have peace of mind, control, power and influence 
why it's your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. You get to that all-important feeling of peace of mind, control, power and influence when you download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report you learn quickly how to get peace of mind, real power and real control and how you can influence decision making fast whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. Your free instant impact report gives you in-depth insight that you must know whilst your loved one is critically ill or is even dying in intensive care. Sign up and download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report you learn how to speak the secret intensive care language so that the doctors and the nurses know straight away that you are an insider and that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care. In your free report you will also discover how to ask the doctors and the nurses the right questions. Discover the many competing interests in intensive care and how your critically ill loved one's treatment may depend on those competing interests. How to eliminate fear, frustration, stress, struggle and vulnerability even if your loved one is dying. You get five killer tips and strategies helping you to get on the right path to peace of mind, control, power and influence in your situation. You will get real world examples that you can easily adapt to your and your critically ill loved one's situation. How to stop being intimidated by the intensive care team and how you will be seen as equals. You will get crucial behind the scenes insight so that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care. And how you need to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care and it's not what you think. Thank you for tuning into this week's Your Questions Answered and I'll see you again in another update next week. Make sure you also check out our blog section for more tips and strategies or send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions. Also check out our product section where you get more ebooks, videos and audio recordings and where you can also get one-on-one -on -one consulting via Skype or over the phone. Thank you for tuning into this week's Your Questions Answered. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I'll see you again next week in another update.